Hello everyone, uh, Sterling Davis, Product Marketing here at Netlify. And I am super excited to be joined today by Netlify CEO, Matt Billman. Matt, how are you doing today? Great, good to be here. Good, good, super happy that you're here as well. Also joining us is Sean Roberts, Technical Advisor and Principal Engineer at Netlify. How are you doing today, Sean? Doing great, excited to talk about AI. Perfect. So we do have a pretty exciting announcement in terms of a new feature and capability for developers within the Netlify platform. I know I'm excited about it. And as we dive into what it is to help frame it a little bit, Matt, if it's okay, I'd love to use a quote uh, from you that I just love on this. And it's about generative AI. And you said today, generative AI is changing the fundamental constraints of human computer interactions. Companies are at the precipice of a major change to all aspects of their digital experiences. I could not agree more. And today we're announcing a piece of that vision and how generative AI can equip developers with better tooling, ultimately to improve the developer experience on Netlify. What are we announcing today? Yeah, so excited for today's announcement and just a small step on, on building out Lots of the way that, that, that we'll just see across the board of a product like ours, AI changing the level of productivity that we can, that we can help developers get to. So we always pioneered like this pretty amazing sort of, um, time to aha moment experience of coming in, picking a GitHub repository. And in a few seconds, you have like the best in class production qualities, release management pipeline set up, deploying straight to like a global edge delivery network that can handle any scale of traffic and any kind of event you'll, you'll, you'll want to throw at it. We've always like loved the magic of that best path, but then sometimes that path breaks at a step. And typically when we see it break, it's often people coming and saying, Hey, the build didn't work, right? Like why, why did it fail? What's wrong? Like I get some, I set all of this up, ran my build and now there's like some weird build error. Oh, I made a pull request and now the build is failing. What's, what's happening, right? Like, and you can go in, you can crawl through all their logs and try to find out what's wrong. You can look up different resources and so on. But what if you didn't have to, right? Like what, what if Netify could just tell you why, why did it fail, right? Like, and could just give you that information directly so we can get you back on the good path. And that's, that, that's basically what we're launching today. I love that. So exciting. Talking to developers across the board, there are a lot of emotions tied up, right? With, with failed builds. What's interesting is across the board, these folks kind of express the same emotions. There's frustration. There is uh, some level of anxiety. There's great apprehension as when something builds, then they have to go through those steps, as you said, of troubleshooting what failed. Not only that, but finding a solution, then quickly implementing that solution to get to market uh, in a timely manner. I love the idea of having something that within a single click of a button can help identify these build failures. Not only that, but provide solutions of, of, of what to fix and where to start. This, this beginning place is identified. And then the, the, the time to solution is that much shorter because of these things that are suggested. And then you can, of course, implement those solutions and then test. And if there is an additional failure, you can then identify it at that time. It's super exciting. How do we see this impacting developers, the developer experience, uh, helping shape developer tooling in the Netlify platform? And how do you see this impacting teams across the board? Sean, I uh, would also love your insight on this. Uh, being technical advisor, principal engineer at Netlify, this is a super exciting release, leveraging generative AI within the platform, within the workflow for developer tooling all around to build a better developer experience. Uh, would love to know your insight on what has you really excited about what we're working on right now, and maybe even a couple of hints of uh, what you might see in the future. Yeah, I, it, it's a great question. I think um, what we're seeing in the market right now is you know, going after a lot of obvious kind of opportunities with generating code and generating um, images and artifacts like that. But when we look at what Netlify can bring to the table, we sit at 
the end to end um, of the stack, right? From development all the way to runtime to, to, to uh, content creation, everything in between. And across the software development lifecycle, there's so many opportunities to augment tasks that are cumbersome, um, just provide superpowers to, to developers and, and content creators and, and different uh, parts of the team to accelerate how they get their job done. And, and even where possible, even give them even more optimizations and, and kind of, you know, jump ahead and, and, and augment the idea of how can we give you optimizations? How can we give you speculative ideas about what could, you know, improve the, the type of thing that you're currently working on even more than just solving the specific thing that you have right in front of you, but how can you even make the, the whole thing that you're building better? Absolutely. I uh, could not agree more. And I think that I think that this is the beginning of a wide array of these technologies that, that seek to leverage AI in fun and new and unique ways to do exactly what you just said. And writing a lot of code as you do, what is some of what goes through your head when you're when you're pro when you're writing lines and lines of code and then you commit the changes and it goes to build and it fails? What, what what does that process look like for you today, and how do you envision using this same feature to to accelerate your own work? Well, I, I can say that as soon as we started, you know, offering it internally, at any time that this comes up, yeah, you know, if there's a build error, that's the first button I look for now, and you know, we're even pushing it as far as to make sure that that button's available on the PR commit as well, so that you can jump straight into getting an answer. It's, you know, when you hit those errors, it's a surprise. It th brings you out of flow and now you're spending time on having to diagnose an issue or, or even find these, you know, issues. Cause you know, when you, when you start running into build issues or even runtime issues, we track all the information that we could provide and to, to make sure you have what you need to, to debug something, but that can be a lot of information and sifting through it can take time and knowing that you ran into an issue and knowing that we can provide some level of AI to, to help get you to that, you know, error and, and understand what's going on. That just, it, it, it actually kind of makes it delightful in a way that's like, it's a unexpected journey that you have to kind of deal with this build error, but you're able to, to use some, some AI to get out of it quickly. It's, it's a kind of an enjoyable experience, to be honest, you know, you, you never look for a build error. Uh, but when you're able to have an issue and have the system just resolve itself, it's just amazing. I love that. Um, the impact to developers is huge, right? Accelerating each of these different processes and workflows and, and overall creating a level of deeper enjoyment and satisfaction as developers work to release code and push changes to uh, production sites. Really appreciate your insight there. That's super exciting. Uh, Matt, I would love to know, how do you see this uh, impacting developers with developer tooling, the developer experience, and developer workflow on Netlify? I mean, I think in general, developers are getting more and more used to getting help along the journey from, from, from generative AI, from tools like Codepilot right in their editors, from tools like Ask Netlify that you can access throughout Docsite or directly through Slack to just like add ask Netlify questions about how, how, how to use our, our platform. Um, and I think this is a first step towards like just integrating these productivity gains in, in all aspects of the workflow, right? Like, and, and we just know that this like failed built part of the workflow is such a typical blocker, right? Like it's either a blocker for a first onboarding where you're trying to figure out like how to get something new live and, and, and how to make our system work. Or it's typically a blocker when you're right in the process of building towards a release and you're in a hurry and it's like sometimes it's crunch time and you need to get this through and something's breaking, right? Like so I think that's such a key emotional moment that, that can spark great joy if we can just instantly essentially tell you like, hey, here's what you need to do to to, to get to the next step and, and fix this and it can save save a lot of time and obviously we sit in a good spot where, where the data we have and, and, and can look at is just sort of really relevant to a specific problem set of running CSED builds for, for a web pipeline with like the set of modern front end tools that our users typically deal with, right? Like, so 
we speak like across this type of barrier to moving fast, that there'll be a lot of opportunity for us to 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 help people accelerate. I love that, and uh, a lot of opportunity there, right? Uh, like you just mentioned, and it sounds like there is potentially more coming along those lines. Uh, so super excited to see how the future shapes out and how we continue to rethink about the developer experience and accelerating these developers even faster than they're going right now on Netlify. Me too. Appreciate you, Matt. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. Super excited to uh, not only talk about this amazing new feature, but to also show you. So without any further ado, we're going to have Sean Roberts demonstrate this feature within the platform to show you exactly how it works, who it's available to, and how you can accelerate troubleshooting failed builds with AI within the Netlify Composable web platform. Take it away, Sean. Okay, everyone, this is a quick demo of Netlify's new deploy assist capability where we use AI to help identify solutions to, to deployment failures. And you can see in this example, on this deployment, I've you know written some code and, and deployed it and something went wrong. Traditionally, I would go through here and kind of have to deal with hundreds of lines of sorting out what, what's going on. But with uh, our new capability, we can just ask why did it fail and we'll get a diagnosis and, and a suggested solution for us to try out. Uh, in this case, it's, you know, I, I haven't set an API key for this uh, environment. And so, you know, it can tell me exactly where this error occurred in the logs, as well as kind of give me a suggestion for what to do next. Um, and in this next example, um, you know, we can show more of the workflow where if I committed some code and this happened, um, the first place I would see it is on my actual PR. And in this case, this PR, um, you know, in indicated that it failed and, and I can jump into the logs directly or I can just click this link to go directly to the logs and um, directly to the explanation for why it failed. And in this case, it's a TypeScript issue um, telling me that, you know, my, my user ID should be a string, uh, not a number, and, and something within my coding plan failed there. With the AI enablement, we can uh, enable this for the full team. So all of our sites can have this ability. And if you, if necessary, you can also disable it for all of your sites. Um, the capability also extends to being able to suggest code suggestions and, and um, various different types of failure modes. So it's not just whether or not the code is having an issue, but also information about the environment and how to solve it on Netlify. So, you know, no one wants to have to deal with deployed issues, but uh, we're looking forward to seeing how this, you know, new AI capability can really improve the productivity and make it really easy to go from the surprising situation to having a solution in place.